What is up everybody? I'm that guy Brian. Welcome to my channel and today we have a Reaction video to a crazy woman at Walmart now uh, This was in a compilation video a reddit cringe compilation video But I don't consider I don't view this Video as cringe not in the slightest. I do think it is I, I Just don't think it should be categorized as cringe at all. I think if anything, it's kind of it's it's sad or um Anybody who watches this video shouldn't find amusement or humor in it. I think that you should be that you should uh, walk away from this video. The takeaway from this video is that you're fortunate enough to to be mentally uh, that you're you're fortunate enough that you're not mentally ill. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get to it. Um, that guy Brian, let's go. <laughs> Insane religious lady. I'm just trying to help you. At Walmart. I'm sorry, but I don't need your help. Y yes, you do, motherfucker. <laughs> you do. You do need my help, sir. Can't you see that, you son of a bitch? Could you please <laughs> just let me sure. check out my groceries? Fuck you. I'm trying to All right, help. all right. So this um, this lady clearly has mental issues. Um, My mother used to work in a psychiatric uh, building, and... She reminds me of one of those people that would uh, reside there and um, her twitchiness and everything. She clearly has mental issues. Motherfucker. <laughs> wow, this is. You got to ask Jesus Christ. We're I don't all have sinners. to do anything. We're all sinners. OK, I, he was not, he's not going to force you to do You're it. You're sinning right now. No, I'm not, motherfucker. How? You fucking accuser. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking accuser. <laughs> um, you motherfucking accuser. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. You motherfucking accuser. <laughs> accuser of the fucking brethren, you motherfucker. All right, this girl, this woman is going to kill somebody one day. Um, She seems pretty violent. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is sad. You know, some people are born with mental issues and everything. Here's a story I probably shouldn't be sharing on this video, but my mother told me about this one guy um, while she was working at this hospital that he would wake up every day and uh, he would get dressed. No, he wouldn't wake up every day, but he would wake up every Thursday and he would get dressed, pack up all his clothes because his family was coming to coming to pick him up and so he was super excited all day you know he would sh he would shave he would brush his teeth he would look good dress up tuck in his shirt pack up his bags and wait at the door waiting for his family to pick him up and then but then everybody else it was visiting day i think it was thursday was the day that the family would come and visit the all the mentally ill people there and you know well everybody comes all the family comes in and they <clears throat> They they would visit their family member who's sick and the, who's mentally ill, and then they would leave. Uh, um, but him and and he would uh, by the end of the day, he would be so disappointed. And that is just one of the saddest things because he always thought that they were coming, despite the fact there was no call. Um, usually the the, the family would call to let him know that they were coming. They, he always thought that they were coming to pick him up on Thursday. And um, and he would be so excited for it. So by the time, by at the end of the day, he would be uh, he would go to bed, really really sad. Um, but that's just that's just just uh, one of the just what just just how the mentally ill people work, you know. Um, I particularly don't want to laugh at this because a lot of homeless people that you see, um, a, a lot of homeless people that you see on the street, um. A lot of them, a lot of the the people that that used to, uh, used to attend or live, uh, used to live in that psychiatric ward, uh, that my mom used to work at, um, they would end up on the street, um, when they leave the building. I don't understand how the, the the dynamics works, how long they could stay there, but they would always end up on the street, you know, and um, you would see them homeless a lot, a many a lot of times, so. You know, sometimes we would be driving to the city and you would see one on the corner. Um, so, I don't know. It's just when you recognize this, uh, they, they definitely need help. Um, so, a lot of times they're not really a danger to um, to uh, other people. They may make loud noises. They may um, say a lot of things. But at the end of the day, they're, they're not violent. The violent ones were in a completely different building. So, 
but many of them were just um i guess bipolar schizophrenia or have all sorts of you know mental issues that i can't really say at the top of my head but she reminds me of that and um and it's sad because you know it, it just that just how some people lose their minds and crazy uh i know a guy who went crazy um Actually, a friend of mine knows a guy who went crazy, uh, but we've worked together, we hung out together, and I, I uh, quite often, you know, I would, wouldn't consider myself friends with him, but um, the guy that I'm really good friends with, he's he was, he's was he been friends with him since high school, and he would sit and um, he said he was perfectly normal until one day he just started losing his mind. He started hearing voices, he started, uh, he started being, um, he started doing all sorts of crazy things. Just recently, he tried to burn down a church. Um, uh, because he thought that's what God told him that uh that God told that he thought that that's what God wanted him to uh to do um a few years ago I moved into this eight building apartment complex and I ended up it was crazy all the apartment co uh apartment complex complexes all of the apartments in my town all the places I could have gotten I ended up right next door to him and uh oftentimes man he would uh he would every time I would try to avoid him and everything but Oftentimes he would kept telling me that he's hearing God and God keeps telling me to do this. I'm just like, whoa, that's crazy, man. Um, um, yeah, but he ended up getting arrested for that, for arson, and now, um, I don't know what happened to him. But yeah, it's it's kind of sad. Um, it really is sad when you see these people who are not all mentally there. I I just want to. I talk way too much about these things. Why am I? Get some groceries and go home. You know, it, it, it like watching videos like this. It makes me appreciate what I do have, um, especially when, I'm, when I think the mind is the best thing you could have. You could lose everything, but as long as you have your mind all together, you can you can you can gain everything back. You know, you could I could get fired, lose my house, lose my car, um, but I like to think that I'm mentally competent enough and mentally all there that I would be able to get another job, save enough money to get another car, save enough for another house. Um, I'm extremely fortunate, and I think everybody should be fortunate that the mind, that the mind, is the the single most powerful thing that you ever need to succeed. That's it. And when you hear people who say those others, I don't think anybody should be offended by it. You just have to recognize that these people are crazy, and um, and I don't think they should. I particularly don't think it needs to be uh, put on uh, on social media so that people can make fun of them. Because a lot of people, I guess, don't understand that mentally people need help. <laughs> mentally ill people. Look how she's moving. Look how her twitchiness and everything. You, you could say that she's on crack or she's on drugs or anything, but um, she's definitely she's definitely mentally ill. I mean, she reminds me like uh, you see in old movies about. Um, she reminds me of that crazy person you would see in medieval times running around. The, the end is coming. The Lord is coming back to save us, to destroy everything and purge you from your sins. Uh, that's what she reminds me of. She seems like that crazy homeless beggar shouting warning signs that the end of the world is coming.
<laughs> that she continues walking off like nothing happened. And then being followed by security. <laughs> Yeah, he's just, he's just picking a fight with everybody, isn't she? Oh, that's so unfortunate. I like how everybody... What is, uh, what's more, the most interesting thing to me about the video is how everybody reacts to it. Like that lady right there, she's like... Not seeing shit. None of my business. I'm just here to get my orange juice and go home. <laughs> That's what's funny to me. You know, she's she's not looking. She's not staring. She's not looking. But she know her ears are definitely listening. She's just... <laughs> She's definitely listening at any in this moment. She is ready to hightail it out of just in case shit hits the fan for real. She is ready. She, she is extremely hyper aware and hyper alert. What's what's interesting is that how these people are are reacting to her. Um, they're really trying to get her to calm down, which is clearly she has mental issues. You're not gonna be able to calm this person down. You're gonna need somebody who's a trained psychologist, a psychiatrist, to come in here and get and carry her away. Um, in a, in a straight jacket or whatever. But trying to tell her to calm down, that's not gonna. That's definitely not gonna happen. So he's like, calm down, ma'am. Please be quiet. Stop disturbing people, please. That's not going to happen. And here comes the police. See, these, these the people who are clapping have no idea what's actually happening here. Um, They just think that she's... I don't know. I I I look at this and say, and go, okay, she's not mentally all there. Um, she's losing it. Clearly, um, needs to be back in a psychiatric psychiatric ward. Maybe start taking some pills for sure. And uh, but to mock or ridicule her is probably not the uh good reaction. It or it's just I, I don't know. It's just can't you analyze the situation clearly here? It's you know you know what's happening, right? And but. I don't know. I I understand she's making her stir, but it's not making you and making not making you comfortable. But uh, I don't think she was a danger to anybody. Um, I think she was loud just because she was saying obscenities doesn't make her dangerous. Um, uh, you can see she didn't touch anybody. She she, she may have uh, there was like a space there. Um, every time she may have yelled at people and everything, but she never actually tried to impose on somebody else's space. Um, she may have yelled at them. She may have tried to start something uh, by she may have uh, engaged or interacted with some of them, but that she never tried to actually get touch anyone. So she wasn't in danger at all. Um, she was just loud um, and just disturbing the peace. But that was it. Uh, I don't know why people were clapping there that that was that was just a weird rea uh, reaction to, to a psychiatric person or mentally ill person being carried away to get her to get the treatment that she needs. I don't know why this is cringe. Uh, by the way, I don't know why this is a cringe. That that was not cringe at all. If anything, it was sad. Um, that not everybody is fortunate, you know, uh, especially when it comes to to the mind. So that was the reaction video to this. This was actually part of a longer video it was part of a cringe reddit cringe compilation video and i did not think this video specifically needed to be a part of it so i edited this reaction out and i'll upload the rest of the other seven videos up later on a separate cringe title but this one specifically i don't think it needed to be um to join that um join that category i, I didn't think this video belonged with the other seven videos so but with that said i am dak abri um I do reaction videos. I'm starting to do more reaction videos. Uh, I, I tend to stay away from music reaction videos simply because I don't think my reaction is what fans are looking for. 
But if you have any other videos like this or you have thoughts or questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. But with that said, until next time, everybody, cheers.